Welcome to section five, one of the most exciting sections where we're going to be looking at jQuery and how we can implement effects and animations with jQuery. So introduction to animations, looking at jQuery sliding effects, jQuery fade effects, and animating elements using jQuery. All coming up in this section. This lesson, we're going to be introducing you to animations, and it's going to be a fun one where we're going to be looking at how we can use hide with a callback, show with a callback, and using a callback to run some code. So first of all, let's set up our document ready method. So set up some click events on the list items, adding in that click event, and then setting up our function and setting up our code that's going to run whenever that, that element gets clicked. So select that current item. We can use the jQuery this object. So this is the one that got clicked. And what we can do is we'll run hide and we'll run it for two seconds. The other thing that we can do as well is we can add in a callback function. So also let's uh, use this and navigate to the next one. And we can update some of the CSS of the next one as well and set the color of that one to be red. So this is gonna be our callback whenever this element gets clicked. So let's go back down to our list items. It hides and it hides really slowly and then when it finishes running and invoking the hide, it turns the next element red. And the same thing for this one as well. If we can go to inspect, we can look at what happens within the HTML. So now whenever I click this one, we can see that we get all of these properties being applied within the styling. And over the two seconds, it runs through and it outputs that. And also, of course, we can show this as well. So now that once it's finished hiding, and we invoke the callback. So it's gonna run all of this. So we can really easily add in the show. So what's gonna happen is it's gonna hide it. And when it finishes, it's gonna show it. And then it's gonna turn the next one red. That was a really neat effect that we can do with hide and show, especially when we added in the callback, gave us the opportunity to run a block of code 